thing is mangled. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Chasing 518. Today, Clawheimer Challenge. $2,500 rigs, all in, one trail. Well, this is, uh, it's fine, it's fine, this is fine. It's not ideal, but it is, it's raining. It's just raining. So my choice is sit in my truck in the rain or go drive around in the rain. So I'm choosing to drive around. I'm gonna go explore Turkey Claw and see what I can learn about the truck. My entry this year, 1996 F-250. I've affectionately named Sideswipe because it was T-boned and had a bent frame and smashed cab. All right, so Curtis Brown, this is a 1989 Jeep Cherokee, four liter automatic transmission. I pretty much bought it just like this with all the light bars and all the stuff I don't need for today. I added the winch and I fixed some broken axle shafts and a drive shaft that didn't work uh, that was broken as well. Other than that, we're just going to see if it's going to make the trail today. My name's Keith. This is my 89 S10 Blazer uh, convertible. <laughs> uh, so, co worker gave me the truck, so I didn't pay anything for the truck. I had to put a fuel pump in it to get it running. Uh, get the bad gas out of it and then from there on it was fully skid plated underneath to begin with but basically as it sits is how I got it um, did some pipe sliders that I had laying around cut the fenders up a little bit added the Harbor Freight winch moved the gas tank into the back so that didn't get smashed um, got a spare CV axle because I don't trust it <laughs> But in the thing, a total of $601. So I'm Mike Cody. I bought this thing for 2,500 bucks and didn't do a single thing to it. <laughs> Ready to run it. 88 Cherokee, stock transfer case. It's got ARB air lockers front and rear. Um, it's got a lot of good parts in it. It's just beat to absolute shit. Jesse, this is my 85 F350. It was a cab and chassis service truck for its whole life. And now it's cut up and turned into off-roader. A 460 and a four-speed and I haven't touched anything on the front end except for just putting the tires on. It was a dually and uh, supposedly has 5,000 miles on it so i take it out and see how it does. How's it going guys? I'm Josh and uh, this is our 78 Blazer. Uh, this thing was at my neighbor's house across the street for years and uh, I never really wanted a Blazer but I was doing some welding work for him. He was short on cash. So long story short, I got a blazer for about 1200 bucks. Um, as soon as we got it home, we uh, put some old 4400 class tires on it that I got off Facebook Marketplace. We already had the wheels laying around. I don't know how much those are worth. Um, the, uh, the truck was built pretty well about 20 years ago by a gentleman who was more into this industry than I am. And it basically has the whole off-road designs catalog from 2005 on it all the shackles and springs but well, we mounted a winch oh yeah last minute we put these rock sliders in they're not a serious rock slider it's just so it doesn't totally cave in when we hit something the 203 likes to pop out of range but we're just going to bungee cord it hold it on there should be all right that'll uh that'll take home the perennial trophy for the year mike's mike's had it for last year's champion so he brought it to pass on the, the torch so to speak um, this is going to be kind of a work in progress. We talked about a lot of ways to, to do this and make it. But the only thing I didn't like about the previous format was because it felt like a race or competition. We saw each other for five minutes at the beginning and then everybody just disappeared. And I'd like to keep the party together. So the idea is we move as a group through each stage and you clear the stage, move up enough to make room for everybody else. Yeah. 
as you get to the cone, I'm gonna say go, and he's gonna start the timer. Go! Said the two, right said the two hundred three likes to come out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Hey, Get the dog. <laughs> Scarlet's the champ. She's used to riding a Toyota. Good job. <laughs> Just cool it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Just the overflow popped, I think. You okay? No, it's heater core. Oh. Oh, those are bypassable. Yeah, so, yep. We, we, we might want to move the battery back where it belongs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think. That's, Maybe. That's moved. It, that, that's optional. <laughs> well, now it's more level. With the ground, with maybe it's an auto, it's an auto leveling battery. Yeah. All right, so 
Yeah. Once this thing cools off, we'll yeah. bypass that heater core. Yeah, no worries. It'll probably live. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That was great. That was awesome. Hey, that was I awesome. Go! That's the line. If I had to bounce it over there. Another bomb. Let the fun begin. All right, so we're down to the last vehicle has entered the starting gate of the first stage, the little S10 Blazer of K&K &K Custom Fab. And uh, they're gonna play it safe and pull some winch cable. The K5 Blazer, you'll probably see it up there. He overheated, blew the heater core. So he's letting it cool off. He's gonna bypass the heater core and then keep going. So that'll be all six rigs in the first stage. Let's keep going. Hold that. This is like a full Badlands commercial. I mean, look at this. Stop, stop. There it is. Come this way, this way. Uh oh. There goes that axle that's making noise. Got a uh, status update for us here, Josh? Um, well, the heater core exploded, and uh, um, so we're bypassing that, which I probably should have done when I first got the truck, but <laughs> here we are. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see if it'll hold water. Okay, we're getting the group ready for stage two. It's gonna start right here at these two cones. And then we've got this little waterfall section. Whiskey Runner walked this last year. Well, Moab bumped it anyway. And then we don't have the cones set up yet, but they'll be kind of right up there, kind of an exit. So shorter stage, but main one main obstacle here. We're just dealing with a broken S10 Blazer, broken axle, and the K5 Blazer uh, is fixing his heater core. So get the group, get the group going again. Go!
have to behave. Yeah, hey, that open dip worked right there for a second and it got him through. This tire spun backwards once. <laughs> oh, the passenger? <laughs> that was pretty good. What was that? I liked it. You did it. Did it. Here, Keith. Disappointment? <laughs> no, axle broke, so we're gonna try and limp it back to camp like this. If this doesn't work, I'm taking the axle shaft out and driving it back on the axle tube. <laughs> might, uh, might be getting a uh, 14 bolt and a Dana 44 in the front for next year. Yeah. yeah, you got room in the budget to spend on it, right? I got another $1,900 to spend. Oh, Actually, and I could take my spare CV back now and get oh. another 80 bucks back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we just finished stage two. Uh, Curtis was in the lead, but because he had to winch, I, I would imagine, I haven't looked at the time, so I imagine he just gave the lead up to Mike in the other XJ. Uh, the S10 Blazer is out, broke a rear axle. They're turning around and headed down. The... K5 Blazer just broke a rear drive shaft. Uh, so he's gonna turn around and head out. So we're down to four rigs, headed up towards the waterfall on Clawhammer.
um, it was dumb and funny and everything. Like, I didn't even look at where the PT exit was. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm not even going to work right. Well, you saw it last minute. They were all yelling that same thing. <laughs> cones, cones. Big old front diff. Go up the wall if you can.
Okay, we are at the final stage, fourth stage. It's the big waterfall here, up there. It's uh, been raining pretty good here for a little while. So a whole new element to claw hammer challenge. Working through the rain makes the rocks. I mean, you can see how shiny they are. So makes the rocks a lot more difficult. So you can pick your, pick your poison. You can go that way. You can go this way. This one's kind of fun. Got like a wall ride thing on it. And then hopefully, hopefully you come out the top of this with a working rig and drive up and out. What do you think so far, Jesse? This is going to be fun in the wet. This is uh, definitely a lot more challenging when it's raining.
Is that what it is? Passenger. Hey, got now, driver. going back down. It's crazy. You make it that far just to break right here.
Stop. This shut it off. Uh, just quit while we're behind. Oh man, what a day. All right, we made it back to camp. Uh, we ended up, I think you saw, we turned around and went down the trail. Jesse decided to turn around and help me get back down. So uh, we're back. That thing is mangled. But uh, we're here and that's all that matters. It's like three o'clock, so get some food, have a drink. It's a good day. 2024 Plowheimer Challenge, we're crowning a new king. What do we call it? Victor. 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 New Victor. I'm passing on the Back. chalice to the new winner. From Mike to Mike. From Mike to Mike. <laughs> All right. Okay. Which one are you drinking? You gotta take a shot out of the chalice. Do the whole thing. It took me two swigs to get it last oh, let time. Me, uh, here, let me read the official. Okay. <laughs> okay, in third place with a time of 1828, Jesse Koss. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Second place with a time of 1593, Curtis. Don't follow Curtis. First place, the 2024 Victor, Mike. With 758. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 All right, it's about uh, 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. A lot of people are packing up camp right now and gonna head home. Super fun year. Could have done without the rain, but certainly added an element. It's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not. See you next time.